but today I have an unboxing. This is the Allure Beauty Box Special Edition. I have no makeup on today. We're doing a hump day, no makeup trend. Give my skin a break. So this thing is loaded. I just signed up for Allure Beauty Box. Hopefully you saw my unboxing of the June 2020 box um, in my last unboxing. Um, if not, check it out. It's on the channel. Um, so I wanted to do this one separately because there was a lot of stuff. So far, I've been really impressed with um, the Allure Beauty Box for the price. I want to say I paid $15. I don't know. I'll have to look. So um, let's get to it. So first off, we have a Skin Fix Oil-Free Cleansing Cloth. Um, maybe multiple. Not sure. Yes, multiple. Three of them. Um, I have not tried these before, so we will see how those go. I will review all of the products on my blog, so make sure that you're following the blog. I will drop the website down at the bottom. So next off, I really love this brand. This is Mamond. Um, they're, I believe, a K-Beauty brand. Um, this is their Flower Lab Essence Mask in pomegranate. So this looks pretty fun. Definitely going to be trying that soon. And next up, okay, next up is the Laritzi Cosmetics Liquid Beam. Um, it's a multi-purpose liquid illuminator in topaz. This is all backwards for you guys, but hopefully you can read backwards. So since I have no makeup on, I can demo this for you. So here it is. Looks really gold, but it's pretty. Blends out pretty well. Let's see what we get. I'm so pale today in red. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Well, it does blend out quite a bit. So there's that side with nothing. It's light. I'll do it on my hand. Maybe we can see it better. Um, so there's that. So it's definitely, and it does blend out. So there it is once I rubbed it into my hand. Um, it's not the strongest highlighter, but for me, I do like some more sheer looks, so I'm okay with that. Um, so there's that. Let's see what else we have. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here, you guys. And I will list all of the products in the bottom, um, in the description. So this is the Derma E, it would help if I got it on the screen, Essential Sun Protection Mineral Powder, and it's SPF 30, which is nice. I live in Mississippi where it's hot and sunny, so that could be helpful. Um, not sure of the color. Get it out of the box, I'll tell you. Here you go. So there's that. And there's the color. I don't know if this is translucent or if it's, I don't know if they know my color. Um, it does happen to look like about my color. I will test it out and get back to you on that one. I do love Derma E's products. I do have some um, promo codes and coupons on my website for Derma E. So if you're into their products, be sure to check that out. So next up we have the Salon Graphics, the Do It All 3-in-1 Dry Texture Spray. It does say it is a dry shampoo meets hairspray. It happens to be my hair is filthy today. So let's see what we get. <laughs> I know I should leave it and then see, I don't do rules well. Okay. It's probably enough dry shampoo for six people, but let's see. Leave it for a second. Um, so for texture, you guys can already see, I'm sure. The whole volume thing is happening. Uh, well, 
a lot of volume. I'm going to pull out my handy dandy tangle teaser. And yeah, I mean, worked for that. I don't know that my hair necessarily feels any cleaner. Might look a little cleaner. I don't know how well I shook that up either. Sometimes I feel like dry shampoo if you don't shake it up. Um, whatever the powders are, like usually it's rice powder, I believe, um, just doesn't really work. So, so far so good. I'll have to really kind of play with that and see. Um, I'm picky with dry shampoo. I have really fine hair and that makes it kind of dif difficult. So there's another dry shampoo in here. Should we try that too? See if it looks, it works better. Okay. <laughs> this is the Oscar Blondie dry shampoo invisible spray sprays clear hmm. is it really clear though i will give it a minute this time see what we get um so two dry shampoos a girl can never have too much dry shampoo you guys I'm like, should I wait, review the next thing, come back, look at this. <laughs> um, so maybe my hair is just past the point of return. Not sure. I found out that there was actually a product that I was using that was making my hair super greasy. Um, and I read the directions to see if I was like using too much of it or using it wrong, but apparently not. I don't know what's going on with that little guy there. Um, so, I mean, I guess my hair looks cleaner. I'll let you guys judge that. It's a little better maybe. Um, I wasn't even gonna try today with dry shampoo because it's a lost cause today, you guys. Okay, next up we have the Skin Fix Minty Mint Lip Repair Balm. Um, I would try it right now, but I have lip balm on, so I don't know if that would be an accurate quick review. Um, let's see if it smells really minty. I love mint scented stuff, so it does. And it smells like real mint, not like that kind of artificially scent. So. This could be good. It says it's 40% coconut oil, so that's usually pretty great, um, especially for my lips. I don't know if everybody's that way, but I am. Next up, we have Lacquer by London Town Pink Nail Polish. Make sure we're getting a good color on it. Um, it is Brit of Love. So got that let's see and I do get my nails done so might have to send that to a friend and get feedback for you guys um, or I could just do my own nails but that sounds like a lot of work I don't know if I'm down for all that okay next up the Amica soul food moisturizing mask my hair is damaged so I will be giving this a try a lot of my friends use Amica I have not yet, um, but I've wanted to. So I'm gonna let you guys know how this goes. I'm kind of dedicated to my hair brands in general, but there's always room for a change. Next up is the IGK Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel. So I don't really know why I would need, I guess for air drying is what it says. So beachy waves right now my hair can't really do that very well but maybe that'll change it so I'll give it a shot I shouldn't knock it before I try it right okay next up the Ole eyes pro retinol eye treatment as you can see um, okay so skincare is my OCD thing in life I can go without makeup I don't care um, a lot of the time at least skincare is like like right now I'm like embarrassed I'm like can I hide my whole face on a YouTube video <laughs> um, but I decided I'd be real with you guys so <laughs> here it is um, I don't do breakouts it's not cool so 
I don't have a ton of under eye issues, but I'm always willing to try something because there's always room for improvement in my book. I mean, I'm starting to get my smile, I'm starting to get some fine lines in there. I'm not puffy at all. I've been using a new, um, let's see, I don't have it in here. Um, the Beauty Pie Eye Ceramide Stick which has been amazing for me, you guys. Um, if you have not tried Beauty Pie, do yourself a favor. It's so cheap and it's so great. Um, I Maybe one product I've tried so far was like average. Everything else has like blown my mind. So for the price, you cannot beat it. I will definitely drop a link in the description for one month for free. Okay, so next. We have the Belief Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. I love sleeping masks, and I'm always looking for the next best one. Um, right now I use Laneige and the Glow Recipe pretty much. Um, I do use the Origins Drink Up too, so that's a lie. Um, so those are pretty much my go-tos, but I'm always looking for another one because I love waking up in the morning and my skin's all plump and hydrated and I didn't even do anything to it. I'm like, yes, the day can go on. Okay, so rant over about that. Okay, so the next thing I got was an eyeshadow palette, a little one called the Nubian by Juvia's. Um, this has been getting some press, this brand's been getting some press lately and I haven't tried them yet. So I definitely want to, so I'm, I'm down for this. So I'm going to take it out. There it is. I like the packaging a lot. No mirror. So that, you know, it's a little bit of a Debbie Downer, but that's okay. There are the colors, a bunch of, um, neutral colors. I will swatch them for you real fast if you give me a second. Don't go away while I swatch. Pigments look pretty good, you guys. This actually might be a fun palette to use now that I'm swatching. Seems like the shimmer pigments are a little bit, and I'll show you, um, a little bit better on these. Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to like mix everything here. I'm a swatch failure. Um, okay, I'm not a failure, but not saying I'm the best either. Um, let's see if I can just get, I need to get one more color. I ran out of fingers. Okay. I don't want to muddy all the colors for you guys so you can actually see them. Um, okay, one more. Okay, so, well, well, maybe I didn't do that so well. Let me turn my computer a little bit. <laughs> Why does this look so much easier on Instagram than it actually is? Maybe because those girls aren't big like me. So those are your colors. See, look, like, like how did I not, I guess I didn't twist my arm enough when I did that. Um, clearly I need to practice swatching for, um, YouTube clips. I could take a picture of that and it would be fine. Um, well, I'm totally going to post that on Instagram and be like swatch fail. So watch for it. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely give me a follow. I, try to be pretty real with y'all there so i like to think i'm kind of fun on there all right so that was that one and then there's still more okay we have some more eyeshadows i'm gonna swatch these on my hands you guys i'm not even gonna try and do that again clearly it was not successful okay i don't know how to pronounce this du duche I want to say Duce. I'm not positive. Um, Freematic eyeshadow in Christy, and it's a shimmer. Eh, if I can get the box open, I'll show it to you guys. Hello, I'm gonna like throw it at myself. All right, 
comes in like it's almost like a ring box <laughs> here's your velvet eyeshadow box okay so it like it slides it's little but i guess it's like the size of a normal tray and i dropped it on the floor okay we're doing great so far in this video okay here it is so you guys can see the color um, and it looks like it has magnets on the bottom, so I don't know, maybe they make a um, customizable palette. I don't happen to know, so I guess I should investigate that. Um, I do not own a customizable palette yet, but probably another thing I need to add to my never-ending wish list. So there is that color. I have a little bit of that um, highlighter from before. In there it is shimmery that's not the highlighter but if you see right underneath oh my gosh I need to get my nails filled um right underneath there you can kind of see I look ghosty in there so um pigment looks pretty good it's not like super shimmery um but like just enough so um it's kind of a neat combo actually all right next up we have the model co Metallic eyeshadow, it says trio. So I'm gonna have to swatch three of these for you guys. Oh my gosh, swatch failure is in trouble here. All right, let's see what we got. So it is indeed a trio. There they are. So I do prefer these little trios to the one little tiny one because I feel like that one I'm gonna lose. Um, I'm gonna swatch these next to the other one <laughs> just because I am not a pro and I do not have things to take it off with. Actually, I do. I forgot I did. Maybe I can take it off after all. Okay, so this one was the one I mentioned before. These three are from that trio. I like them, you guys. It's like a good gold metallic, um, gold bronze brass, we'll call it that. So, and that color again was Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez? Saint Tropez? I don't think you pronounce the Z. It's okay. I'm, I'm not smart today, you guys. I'm not worried about it. Okay, I know how to pronounce this one. They gave us another trio in Mykonos so we'll see that one and I just remembered that I do have a way to get this off <laughs> so I'm gonna do that before I swatch again and wreck it Ooh, and these don't come off easy you guys might need some bigger guns to get it off at this rate let's see I could pause, but for the sake of authenticity, I won't. Though, when I do my makeup videos, I definitely pause because I'm like, you guys are not gonna watch me mess up eyeliner live. That happened the other day when I was doing a, well, I, I did pause it and I messed it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, do I have to redo all of this? Um, and then I'd have to make it match. Like, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just going to be real with you guys when I screw it up. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with all that. Okay. My Garnier Water Rose Micellar Cleansing Water to the rescue. I will link that in the description as well. So, here is the Mykonos. Can open it so there's that so this one has that kind of this one's a little more pink and red kind of reminds me of my urban decay naked cherry palette if anybody else has that i love that palette so much and okay those are pretty 
So there are those. So that was pretty great. Happy with that. And then we still have four more things. How is this possible? This is like the biggest box of stuff ever. Okay. So we have two more eyeshadows, a mascara and a matte lip crayon. My lips have a really hard time staying hydrated. <laughs> matte scare me sometimes, but I'll put it on for full transparency. I do have a little bit of lip balm on, so let me get that off or it'll never stay on to show you guys. Okay. So next up, it's that same brand, Model Co. They're Eye Lights, and this is in St. Bart's. So I'll see if I can get a good swatch on that for you. This is a liquid, hopefully one that dries well because there's nothing worse than a liquid that doesn't dry and smears everywhere. Ooh, so it's a pretty color, you guys. I'm trying to, it's kind of like more of a pinky gold. I don't know if you can see it that well. Um, but it's pretty, you might actually be able to tell more from there. But that's what it looks like. I'm gonna give it a minute and I will tell you if it dries because that's huge. And while I do that, there's another one of those in graphite. That sounds fun. Let's see. So graphite is, they probably call it dark gray. It's black, shimmery black, which Think we could have some fun with so okay with that Ooh, yeah it's black <laughs> so let's see if i can get that up close again let's see if i can really see it she looks pretty okay there, there are the two colors side by side. Like I said, I'm gonna wait a second for them to dry so I can really tell you what they do because there's no way to tell otherwise. There is nothing worse than buying a makeup product online. You buy something like this and you're like, yeah, it'll dry. Like who would make eyeshadow that doesn't, cream eyeshadow that doesn't dry. And then you get home and it's like sticky. Your eyelids are sticking together the worst, <laughs> literally the worst. Okay. Okay, you guys. And this one I clumped on maybe a little bit too much, but nothing, they dry. So those are a win. Um, I've had a hard time with the last I feel like the last couple liquid or cream eyeshadows I've used that were just like tacky afterwards. And it's the worst feel to me. I don't like it. Okay, here is this. So this is that, what is it, Duce maybe um, brand again. This is their Winterberry, um, what do they call it? Relentless Matte Lip Crayon. And that is my friend texting me. And I've tried to set these alerts gotten get rid of these alerts on my macbook and for some reason i can't the whole app was closed but my phone's on silent it wasn't my phone it was let me check that now that i say it yes my phone's on silent but that was my computer so win thanks friend she actually was just making fun of me acting like i didn't know how to put my phone on silent um this morning when I talked to her. Okay, so here is this matte lip crayon. It actually, I didn't think it was as red as it is, but it's pretty red. I like red, so I'm not afraid of that. I'm gonna just put it straight on my lips for you guys so you can get a real idea. See how well I do this while I'm videoing? <laughs> chunky so I can get it on. 
if it was one of those skinny pencils, we'd be in trouble. So this is like a good, it's kind of like a cranberry mulberry color. Are those two the same? Maybe they're a little different. Hmm. It'd help if I colored it all in while I. Okay. It's actually kind of like the perfect neutrally red, like not too loud. I like it actually. And it's not super drying for a matte. Um, I'm gonna have to play with this a little more because general, almost every matte, and I shouldn't talk yet because it could still be drying, but most mattes are really drying on my lips. So I kind of avoid them. I don't totally avoid them, but they're not usually my favorite. This one just feels creamy. It doesn't, doesn't feel bad at all. So, okay. Last thing. Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. It is their volume and length mascara. I like these mascaras that are in a tube like that. And it looks black. I don't, didn't see a color anywhere, so I'm just gonna assume it's black. Okay, I'll put it on. I do like these brushes, these old school thin ones. Um, Sometimes I feel like less is more in the mascara brush land. I literally cannot put my mascara on without my mouth open. And I remember like a teacher saying something to me about like in, a, in an anatomy class or something like, oh, you know, have you noticed that women always have their mouth open when they do or something like that? And it was like about muscles or something. She's right. I can't do it. I mean, maybe I can, but I have to like think about it extra hard. Probably should have redid that, but it goes on pretty smooth. This looks like a good everyday mascara, like not too crazy. I mean, depending on what your everyday look is. Girl, if you, or boy, sorry to say girl, that was not cool of me. People, if you put on a full face of makeup every day, I salute you. Really, I do. I wish I could be that great at life. Okay, so, I mean, I'm sure I could have done a better job, but yeah, it's kind of a nice, went on smooth, easy. I don't know about the wearer life, so we'll try it and see how we'll see what we get. But that was it. Box empty. So we have officially tried them all. I will review all this stuff, put it up in the blog. Um, if there's anything that you want me to review that haven't reviewed already, or you haven't heard me talk about, um, there's so many beauty products out there. I have tons of time on my hands <laughs> just to play with beauty stuff. Um, no, I, I definitely want to do what you guys want me to do. Um, <laughs> so it's all about you. So if you have a product that you've really wanted to try, but you weren't, didn't want to take the plunge or whatever, um, didn't want to spend the money or you weren't sure, or you were between two products, happy to do face-offs. If you saw my micellar cleansing water face-off, that was successful. Um, so let me know, drop it in the comments and I will do my best to test it out for you. And be sure to subscribe to this channel if you thought this was helpful um, or if you'd like more like it. And like it if you don't mind, it definitely helps me out. So have a great week you guys and I hope you enjoyed this.